Uh, my name is Peter Glasswell. I'm the Work Experience Coordinator for Coxhead Hill Technology College. Our uh, main role uh, in my department is to obviously make sure that the youngsters that we have under our domain go out on work experience as well as some youngsters that come here to Reflections on a weekly basis which is part of their work experience package. Um, and that is what we, that's where our relationship with Reflections from that perspective. Um, we have quite a, a, a good working relationship with the people here at Reflections obviously because we feel and value their input to our youngsters' education. I'm a firm believer in work experience as a part of the, uh, the overall package that the youngster has to go through. Um, it is an experience of work. They get an opportunity to go and work with adults in an adult environment and learn and hopefully come away with sort of learning outcomes which are pertinent to their working lives in the future. So it's a very important part of what we do in the education establishments within the whole of the country. And um, my contribution to that is a firm commitment to it. And I know my colleagues have the similar commitment because they see the value of it. Health and safety is very, very important to uh, the message that we have to give to our youngsters prior to work experience because we need to make sure that they are in a safe en environment. They understand what it's all about. Um, it frightens me intensely that we could be sending youngsters out who've got, who've got no experience about the, their, their own safeguarding issues when they go into the workplace, particularly because we know that youngsters are very vulnerable at that age group to being subjected to other things that they are messages that they clearly don't understand. And as long as we can actually say, furnish them with that information prior to going on work experience, then they have that as a backup for any query um, that they may encounter or some difficulty they may encounter. They have a, a way of getting away from it and saying, look, that is not correct. I would like to um, discuss this with you. And indeed, we'll, we'll make sure that they are fully aware of their statutory rights as well. Yeah. Worst case scenario could be fa a fatal uh, um, problem, a uh, fatality, sorry. Um, so obviously, we make sure um, that they are fully um, briefed um, and they don't put them into any, of, of being put in into a situation where they could encounter difficulties that could cause them harm. The, the paramount thing for me is that they speak up and stay safe. It really is because they, they've got that opportunity. What, what does concern me, obviously, because they're in a, a vulnerable position, they're quite young, they're naive in the sense that they may feel that I'll do that, but obviously if they don't feel safe about it, they must speak to somebody. And the first protocol, if they go home at night, speak to parents. Parents would often then come back and say, I'm not happy with that establishment, then we can deal with it. Yeah? But the paramount thing is that they speak up, they stay safe by doing it.